Hey guys, what's up? Today, I will be reviewing another game. And that game is... Pac-Man 256. For Android and iOS. Yeah. Unfortunately, this one is not one of those games compatible with the MOGA controller. But, hey, what are you gonna do? It's, you could recommend this game, but it's kinda hard... It wouldn't be that hard to actually get controller support for this, but hey, I don't mind this um, game. As you can see, um, if if you guys heard of the level 256 glitch from Pac-Man, uh, you would know what this game is about. Well, basically, um, this game's all about... Uh, escaping from the 256 glitch, if it catches you, well, you're dead, basically. That's basically the plot of this entire game. Um, not really plot. It's not really that much of a plot, but that's just the whole story behind this game. It's escape the two level 256 glitch, as well as try to rack up a nice high score. By eating ghosts. And stuff like that. And sadly, controller support is not a thing in this game. As you saw, I died. This is an endless maze. So, you can go as long as you want. And, uh, <laughs> this maze never ends. But, what's with the ad at Pac-Man 256? Pac-Man 256, what's with the ads? You never had ads before. This game used to never, had ad, never have ads, but I guess that's, that was probably a glitch, I hope. I hope in the new update they didn't add ads. But whatever, that's not imp that's not relating to the game itself. That's just my my personal vendetta against ads. I always hated ads in video games, like in forever. Since forever, I hated those damn things. They were the most annoying thing I came across in my life. The fact that this game uses ads as earned gifts doesn't really help anything. But hey, it's a great game. You should definitely check this one out. I'm going to play this for a while um, on camera, though. So this counts as a review and, and slash playthrough and or wh whichever option you think it is. Wh whatever you think it is. Yes. It's impossible to escape the grasp of the power pellet. Not really. I was like so close there, guys. I was so close. It goes up in increments of 16. I uh, I don't I don't know really. It goes 16 times 2, so 1632, 64, 128, and that's annoying. And 256, which is the secret dot combo I'm trying to go for here. If you can go for that long, that's amazing, and you should probably get a medal. I actually did that before, but for some reason, I can't do it on camera. And that's my least favorite situation in this game. Getting caught be in between two ghosts. Like that. I could use my credits. I am going to show you the awesome power-ups in this game. There's a free play mode if you don't want to play with power-ups and you just want to play with, like, classic Pac-Man power pellets. But there's also freeze. There's a freeze power-up. It's pretty much anything you can dream of. Any power-up you can dream of. Even a laser. Pac-Man with lasers. 
Now that's a game I wanted to see for a long time. And why don't you look at that? We've earned ourselves a giant power-up. And now all these ghosts become food. Well, now they're not food because I I just ran out of power-up and now I'm their food. <laughs> Which is just great. As I was on a roll with that dot combo. I'll show you what the 256 dot combo does in a second. It doesn't erase the 256 glitch from the game. Sadly. There's also lasers and stuff. Which I'll show you in my full playthrough of this game, which I'll be doing soon. Anyways, that is the end of this review, and um, see you guys in the next g game review slash playthrough, which is coming up as soon as this video ends.